intoxicated. Okay, I'll let you up. Chill out. Shut up. With power. You are dirty. You are dirty. You are dirty. Every one of you up there is dirty. That's the word on the street when it comes to cops in one small town. They're the Gestapo that can pull you out of your car and take you to jail for doing absolutely nothing wrong. But the police claim they're just here to protect and serve the overserved. I want you to follow the tip of my pen, all right? In the town of Statham, Georgia, chances are good you'll get a DUI. At least that's what a whole lot of people are saying. I'm coming through Statham and I'm getting pulled over and charged with a DUI. Carrie Foster is just one of the 267 DUI arrests handed out in the past three years in the small town of Statham. It smells foul. It stinks, it stinks, it stinks. In fact, getting arrested for a DUI in Statham, population 2,500, is more likely than in some of America's biggest cities. On New York's Lower East Side, the NYPD reported only 23 DUI arrests in 2010. The average number per year in Statham, 89. My gut was telling me that something was wrong, but I didn't know enough about politics to be able to even speak about what that was. And residents say there's mainly one cop pulling them over. Dispatch 23. <laughs> Officer Mark Lofton's dash cam is rolling when he pulls over Statham resident Kelly Pickens. He stops her for a tag violation. But then Officer Lofton asks Kelly if she's on drugs. Kelly states she takes medication prescribed by her doctor. Because the doctor prescribed don't mean you can drive I on it. I take it every day. None of them say you can't drive on them. None of them. On the spot, Officer Lofton demands a field sobriety test. I want you to follow the tip of my pen, all right? Then to Kelly's complete surprise, Officer Lofton slaps on the cuffs. OK, I'll let you up. Chill out. Shut up. The charge, DUI. It was like being on the Dukes of Hazard, you know, and, and Boss Hog and Opie. No, that, I'm sorry, that's Mayberry. Boss Hog and Enos and the gang. I mean, does this stuff really still happens today? Is anybody paying attention? And it seems you don't have to actually be under the influence to get a DUI in Statham. Kelly's toxicology report came back negative for illegal drugs, just like so many others. Mark Lofton didn't think I was impaired. Mark Lofton was looking for a reason to arrest. He didn't need you to be impaired. He needed you to have a prescription medication in your system. Mary Williams, a local postal worker, was also stopped by Officer Lofton. As seen on his dash cam, the line of questioning sounds familiar. Are you on any types of medications or anything? Mary is charged with DUI after explaining to Officer Lofton that she's on anti-depression medication. The FBI evidently approves me to drive a federal vehicle while taking these same meds. So. Lofton in Statham says I'm DUI on him. I, I, I just don't understand how that could possibly be. Since her arrest, all charges have been dropped. And then there's Adam Carpenter. Well, I don't do drugs. I don't drink. Still, this happened, a field sobriety test. He said my pupils were dilated, and then he tried to say I was DUI intoxicated. Adam is arrested for DUI. There's only one problem. Adam's not drunk or taking any kind of drugs, including prescription medication. And he says he can prove it. Adam got a blood test within four hours of the arrest. Single-handedly, Officer Mark Lofton made 63 arrests in 2016. The neighboring town of Arcade made eight total. Now, why is that? That's all we want to know. Why? It's a question coming from angry residents who point to the fact that their town doesn't have a drunk driving problem. But he will intimidate and interrogate whoever he can. In fact, the past two years, there's been zero drunk driving related accidents. So they want to know why the ever increasing DUI arrests. The citizens and visitors of Statham have been targeted, profiled and persecuted in a way that can only be called policing for profit. And it seems the locals may be on to something. The city clerk's office reportedly shows police fines have more than tripled in just two years, from $76,000 to over a quarter million. Money, money, money. That's all they're thinking of is the money. Nearly 500 of the town's 2,500 residents have signed a petition calling for a criminal investigation into Officer Mark Lofton's questionable string of DUI arrests. Well, this just seems to me as one bad police officer. So why they have not addressed that yet? I do not know. And what happens if you dare disagree with Officer Lofton? Why is she going to jail for it? I just told you, DUI. 
Just listen to the audio from the officer's dash cam as a husband stands up for his wife, claiming she's not drunk. Lofton responds with a teaser. Don't touch me, Turn around. You going to get tased? For what? I ain't done nothing. Get on the ground. For what? I ain't get done on the ground. Oh. Adam Murphy from our affiliate CBS 46 caught up with Officer Lofton to get his side of the story. Do you have a response to the comments, Matt? I can't. I can't make any comments. And there may be good reason he's not saying much. <laughs> Why can't you do it? Calm down for me. Just take a deep breath for me. Why can't you not do it? That's Officer Lofton's wife. She's been pulled over for suspected DUI in the neighboring town of Winder. And Winder PD just happens to be Officer Lofton's former department. I need to work with me. I'll tell you, I'm trying to help you out. Hey, blow some spice on me. Blow it for me. Blow. Blow. Don't suck on Blow. Blow, 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 blow. Officer Lofton's better half blows a .20, more than twice the legal limit. <laughs> but get this, her case was dismissed. She's married to a police officer. All of a sudden, she's not going to jail and she's not getting prosecuted. But everyone else in, in our city and in this county is getting prosecuted for the same offenses and even less. So I don't care what way you try to spin it. The facts are the facts are the facts. Turns out not even the biggest twist in this case. Just days ago, this exclusive from our affiliate CBS 46. The officer responsible for more DUI arrests than any town in his area reportedly doesn't even have the proper training to do so. Has Lofton ever taken an A-ride course before? As far as I know, he has. And, and what happened with that? He didn't pass it. In a detailed report from the prosecuting attorney's office of Georgia, it states, quote, significant errors in several of the DUI drug investigations by Officer Mark Lofton. I think it validates all the claims that we made. If it wasn't for the concerned citizens in this community and the victims coming forward and digging into this, it would still be happening. Officer Lofton's previous DUI arrests are now under review. The report also states that Officer Lofton will need to complete A-Ride, the Advanced Roadside Impaired Driving Enforcement course, before making any additional DUI arrests. You knew he didn't have the training to begin with, and you were letting him make those stops. Police Chief Alan Johnston defends his officer and department, but says additional training is always a good idea. 